King Charles fought back tears as he returned to Balmoral Palace after a private service. King Charles and Queen Camilla are holding private memorial services at Clacy Parish Church to mark the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's death. King Charles appeared to fight back tears as he was led back to Balmoral Castle, this morning after attending a private service in Kratkirk. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. He chose to mark the day, which also marked the day he became monarch, with private prayers of remembrance and quiet reflection. The picture shows Charles, dressed in a red tartan skirt, and Camilla, in a blue day suit and jacket, return to Balmoral Palace after a 30-minute ceremony and a short walk, with the king looking emotional. Camilla was sitting there with a beautiful bouquet of flowers. This morning's event will be a deeply personal moment for the king. The king's mother died peacefully at Balmoral Castle on September 8 last year at the age of 96, becoming king after 70 historic years on the throne. Shortly before 10 a.m., the king and queen left Balmoral for a short visit to the Church of Scotland, accompanied by only a handful of guests. Members of the public, including pupils from Classy Primary School, staff from Balmoral Estate and members of the royal family, gathered in the autumn sunshine. Charles and Camilla were joined by Lady Sarah Chateau, the late queen's niece and nephew and the Earl of Snowdon. The late queen had a close relationship with her sister Princess Margaret's children, especially Lady Sarah, whom she saw often. The Earl was accompanied by his daughter Lady Margaret Armstrong Jones, and Lady Sarah by her husband Daniel, and children Samuel and Arthur. Former Dean of the Royal Rite of Scotland, Ian Torren, preaches. The King and Queen stayed in the church for about 30 minutes before going to greet some well-wishers. They then returned to Balmoral Castle, where they spent the rest of the day. Prince William and Kate will visit St. David's Cathedral in Wales later today before heading to Pembrokeshire for a short private ceremony. It comes after they shared a message on Twitter this morning which said, Today we remember the extraordinary life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. We are all thinking of you. It also included a family portrait of the late monarch, surrounded by her great-grandchildren, including Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, as well as her two youngest grandchildren.